I'm Stacy Jackson, and thank you for tuning in to Stacy Jackson in the 80s. I have to admit, this TV journey has been so much fun. Not only am I taking you all down memory lane, but I've had the privilege to delve even deeper into this amazing era. The 80s were filled with incredible music and an enormous number of talented artists. Whatever your music lane was back in the 80s, I'm pretty sure you're all still loving listening to them. But no matter what type of music you chose to play back then, I personally can't do an episode on music in the 80s without highlighting the new romantics because it was a major pop culture movement at the beginning of the era. The new romantic movement came out of the UK club scene in the very late 70s and was a modern twist on the original romantic period of the late 18th century. Though it was initially a fashion movement, loads of British artists took the, the look of flamboyant dress and, of course, tons of makeup. Groups like Duran Duran, Uh Uh-huh, A Flock of Seagulls, and Boy George, of course, just to name a few. So I'm going to open up the show today with a couple of my top picks of artists and groups who came out of the New Romantic era. But I'm going to begin with a band that actually came out of Norway. Uh Uh-huh. Their 1985 track, Take On Me, reached number number one in 27 countries. And if you've ever, ever tried to pull this song off at a karaoke bar, you know it's one of the hardest choruses out there to sing. I'm going to follow that up with the boys from Essex, Depeche Mode, and their 1981 smash hit, You Just Can't Get It Up. This song was written just as the punk scene was winding down and London club kids were looking for a song music they can actually dance to. But first, here is Aha uh-huh with their iconic video, which won six MTV Music Awards. 